This week, we are talking about how to take care of that brand new cleaner shrimp. Welcome back, fellow reefers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Sean, and this is where we take reefing one day at a time. So, you brought home that brand new cleaner shrimp, and you're asking yourself now, now what? Well, we plan to answer those questions you may have. Questions like, where are they from? What do they eat? And what do I feed them? What are their purpose in my aquarium? And most importantly, do I want to use garlic or not when I cook them? I'm just kidding. I would never cook my shrimp that are in my aquarium. So let's go. So where are cleaner shrimp located? Cleaner shrimp can be found in the wild living in the reefs of the Indo-Pacific and also in the reefs of the Red Sea. With that being said, it's close to impossible to aquaculture these guys because of the larvae does not survive to adulthood. This in turn means that they are wild caught from the reefs, which in time could significantly damage our reefs. So what do I feed my cleaner shrimp? Here is the good news. You don't feed them anything. Did I just say you don't feed them anything? I sure did. Well, that is if you currently have fish in your aquarium. If you don't, you will need some fish for sure. That's because cleaner shrimp feed on the dead tissue on your fish as well as parasites on your fish. Reefers, this is great news. You know that ick problem we had in last week's video? Well, we have another means to battle the marine ick problem. I have always known this and that is why we always keep at least one cleaner shrimp in our reef tank at all times. I will put a link in the description below and at the end of this video for our video on ick. Also, when we feed our fish, you will see the cleaner shrimp running along the sand to get leftover food that reaches the bottom. So what is the purpose of cleaner shrimp in my aquarium? Well, like I just mentioned, they help clean and keep your fish healthy. That is their main purpose. But here are some other really neat reasons to keep them. When you have visitors that come over and look at your reef tank, they love seeing the shrimp. I'm not sure if that is because the only time anyone sees shrimp is on a dinner plate. Regardless, you will find guests just staring at them. Now, check this out. Do you see this? When you place your hand inside your reef tank, cleaner shrimp will instantly hunt you down and jump onto your hand and, and start to get to work. Yes, they are cleaning your hands, trying to remove dead skin, and well, hopefully, you're not walking around covered in parasites. But if so, you need to see a doctor now because this little guy can't help you. Cleaner shrimp grow to the size of two and a half inches and only live three to five years. You will find them most of the time hanging upside down underneath a ledge of your rock work. This is because they will find and create cleaning stations. This is kind of like their version of say, an underwater drive through for your fish. Yes, your fish pull up, get a full tank of gas, have their oil checked, get cleaned, and off they go. Cleaner shrimp will perform what is called a rocking dance, which your shrimp rock side to side to let the fish know that they are open for business as fish approach. Now, here is something I need to tell you. If you walk up to your reef tank or aquarium and you see what looks like shrimp has died on the sand, don't panic. Look around and you will find that shrimp is in fact alive and well. Your shrimp has molted meaning it has left its old shell because it's growing. But that molt really looks like another shrimp laying there, dead. Cleaner shrimp require iodine supplements. Myself, I have never done this. I have never dosed iodine at all. It seems as though water changes 
take care of that issue for you. This is also the time you will notice after a few days of a water change, you will most definitely find a molt. Now that I have a calcium reactor, it seems as though they molt whenever they want to. Here is a link up above to view our video on ick. We hope this helps you take care of your new shrimp and hope your shrimp brings you many years of enjoyment. So until then, we'll see you on the next one.